you got a guy who's having serious mental health issues and the only person his mom could call was an armed police force, right? She called three times that day before the death sequence started. This time she called for an ambulance. She didn't call for police help. She called for an ambulance to 302 him. The problem is the way our system currently works, police are taking all the, are picking up all those calls, right? And so yeah, I, the ambulance is not going to show up without police, as you know. Because I'm with you. That, that, that's my point, right? And so the question for me isn't should the police officer have talked to him more, or used a taser, or used mace, or had a battering ram, or, or been warmer and fuzzier? Those are questions we can have, and I, and I do, I do think there's some questions. And I've talked to many police officers who said, yeah, you know, it depends on the officer, right? We're kind of trained to shoot and kill here. I would have done something different, but. That's not what our training suggests. I get that. My point is we have to imagine the social world in a way so that the mom has someone to call other than the police force so that there are institutions that can help that man before he gets a knife in his hand so that the police officer isn't put in the position of getting stabbed or shooting somebody.